Let me put this to him simply. If it was a police officer, a teacher, a doctor, we would expect, we would expect the independent protest to be followed and not changed after the verdict. Yeah. It's one rule for them and one rule for the rest yeah. of us. Yeah. Mr Speaker, when a Conservative member was found guilty of sexual harassment but let off on a loophole, they said the rules couldn't be changed after the event. Yep. Yeah. So they can't change the rules to stop sexual harassment, yeah. but they can change the rules to allow cash for access. All the professions that she mentions have a right of appeal, yeah. uh, Mr Speaker. And, I, and that, is what the, that is what the House needs to, needs to consider. And may I respectfully say to her that I, I believe that she needs to focus, instead of playing politics on, on this issue, which is, what the, which, is what they, which is what they are doing, I think that she needs to consider the procedures of this House in a spirit of fairness. When they break the rules, Mr Speaker, they just remake the rules. Yeah. And I know that Donald Trump is the Prime Minister's hero, but I say to the Prime Minister, I say to the Prime Minister, in all seriousness, he should learn the lessons that if you keep cheating the public, it catches up with you in the end. Yeah. The Resolution Foundation found that by 2026, taxes will be £3,000 more per household yep. since he took office. My constituents and his constituents are feeling the pinch. And they're worried about Christmas as well, Mr Speaker. Their bills are going up every week and the budget did nothing to help them. Mr Speaker, what I can tell her is that uh, the recent budget, what the recent budget did was take cash from those who can afford uh, to pay the most and it had huge and had very substantial tax cuts for the hardest working and poorest families in this country. We cut £1,000, Mr Speaker, with the universal credit taper relief cut.